In this video, we're going to look at some examples of converting decimals to fractions in simplest form. Now, the easy thing about converting decimals to fractions is if you can read a number based on its place value, you can convert it to a fraction. The only tricky part is if you need to simplify it. So I've written a, a, a set of numbers, and notice that I've put a whole number in every one of these. So these are all going to be mixed numbers when we convert them to fractions. Really, the only thing that we need to do is read the number. In this case, we have 4, and you always read the decimal point as an and. So we have 4 and 3 tenths. And this one, there's no simplifying to be done because 3 tenths is already in simplest form, so we're done. Our fraction is a mixed number with a 4 in the whole number, and 3 tenths is the fraction. Number 2, we have 6 and 8 hundredths, so 6 wholes and 8 hundredths. Eight hundredths is not in simplest form. Eight and one hundred both share a common factor of four. So I can divide by that version of one whole. Eight divided by four is two. A hundred divided by four is twenty-five. So six and eight hundredths is the same thing as six and two twenty-fifths. Number three, if we read this according to place value, it is three and sixty-four hundredths. Sixty-four hundredths is not in simplest form. Sixty-four and one hundred both share a common factor. And they may share multiple common factors, but I know that four goes into both of them. Sixty-four divided by four is sixteen, and a hundred divided by four is twenty-five. So 3 and 64 hundredths is the same thing as 3 and 16 25ths. On number 4, we have 2 and 4 tenths. 2 and 4 tenths is not in simplest form because 4 and 10 both share a common factor of 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 2 and 4 tenths is the same thing as 2 and 2 fifths. And lastly, 6 and 250 thousandths is, is 6 and 250 over 1,000. 250 over 1,000 is definitely not in simplest form. I can, I can pull out quite a bit. Matter of fact, I can pull out a 250 from it. 250 goes into itself and into 1,000. goes into itself once and into 1,000 four times. So 6 and 250 thousandths is the same thing as 6 and 1 fourth.